a pressurized concrete beam 300 by 800 mm is reinforced with cable at information filter of 200 mm. To stop the pressurization force is 240 kN and superimposed load at 4 kN per meter. To stop, find the stresses at support and mid span, then simply the footer span is 8 meter. So first of all, write down the given data. Cross section of beam it is given A is equal to 300 into 800 mm. 300 into 800 mm. That will become 300 into 800. That will be 240 into 10 to 3. 240 into 10 to the power 3 mm square. The so next moment of inertia, that is I. I is equal to BD cube by 12 will be B into T cube by 12. BD cube by 12. Moment of inertia I access BD cube by 12. So B it is here 300 into 800 cube divided by 800 cube divided by 12. 800 cube divided by 12. The moment of inertia I is equal to 300 into 800 cube divided by 12. It will be 12.8 into 10 raised to 9. 12.8 into 10 raised to the power 9 mm raised to 4. mm raised to 4. Okay. So section modulus it is that is equal to i by 1. So section it is rectangular. So, so, so y bar it is cg it is 800 divided by 2 that is 400 mm. Then section modulus z is equal to z is equal to i by y. Z is equal to I by Y. I by Y. I by Y is equal to so I it is 12.8 into 10 to the power 9 divided by Y it is 400. Y it is 400. We will get the section model of 400. So z is equal to, section model is equal to 400. It will be 32 into 10 raised to 3. 32 into 10 raised to the power 6. 32 into 10 raised to the power 6 into mm cube. Mm. So this one it is. Section model. Okay. So now we need to calculate the self weight of beam. Okay. Self weight of beam. Self weight of beam. Self weight. Self weight of beam. Okay. So unit weight of concrete will assume it is 25 or 25. Okay. So here we will take 25. So beam it is 0.3. Convert it is in meter 0.8 into unit weight of concrete it is 25. So 0 0.3 into 0.8 into 25. So it will be 6 kilonewton meter. 6 kilonewton per meter. 6 kilonewton per meter. Okay. So total load on beam. Total load on beam. Self weight plus superimposed load. So self weight it is six and superimposed load it is four. It will be ten kilonewton per meter. Ten kilonewton per meter. Okay. Now question it is this, find the stresses at support and mid span. So first of all, eccentricity is given also. Inform eccentricity e is equal to e is equal to two hundred mm. So it is uniform. So the span it is uniform. Then second, pressure force it is given. 
240 किलो न्यूटन इज इक्वल टू टू फोर्टी किलो न्यूटन टू फोर्टी किलो न्यूटन एंड टेन इट इज गिवन एट मीटर एल इज इक्वल टू एट मीटर एल इज इक्वल टू एट मीटर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइंड आउट दसेस एट सपोर्ट क्वेश्चन वन प्रसेस एट सपोर्ट प्रसेस एट सपोर्ट प्रसेस एट सपोर्ट सो एट सपोर्ट देर विल बी नो मूवमेंट देर विल बी नो बेंडिंग मूवमेंट ओके एट द सपोर्ट दिस वन इट इज सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीन So dead load plus by load it is acting on the beam. So span it is eight meter. Span it is eight meter, and informally distributed load on that beam. So total loads self weight plus self weight plus superimposed load it is ten kilonewton per meter. Ten kilonewton per meter. But first stresses at support. So sigma t is equal to Sigma t is equal to sigma t is equal to p by a, p by a, p by a direct stress plus bending stress, p by a, p by a. At the top, due to pre-stressing, it is tension at the top. Then p by j. P by Z. P by Z. P by Z. P by Z. Put all these values here. You get the option. So P by A. P it is pre-stressing force. It is 240 kilonewton. Convert it is in newton mm. 240 into 10 raised to the power. T newton divided by divided by cross section area of beam we have calculated already. So this one it is fourteen to ten raised to four. Sorry, twenty four into ten raised to four. Twenty four into ten raised to the power four. Then minus 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 P it is again two forty into ten raised to the power. Three into eccentricity is two hundred mm. Any form of eccentricity. So at the support it is also two hundred mm. Then section of modulus we have calculated. There it is. Thirty-two into ten raised to six. Thirty-two into ten raised to the power six. Okay. We will get the top top process at mid span. So sigma t is equal to sigma t is equal to So first P by A is 24 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 24 into 10 to the power 4. It will be 240 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 24 into 10 to the power 4. So this one it is 1 minus Bending stress due to pre-stressing, P E into 200 divided by that it is 32 into 10 to the power 6. It will be 1.5. So stress at top minus 0.5, minus 0.5 M P. Okay. Stresses at mid span. Sorry, stresses at uh, support at bottom. That is sigma B. Sigma B is equal to Sigma B is equal to sigma B is equal to P by A, P by A, P by A, P by A plus plus P by B, plus P E by B. Plus P by J. P by J. Again, put all these values here. So 
so p by eight is you know that p by eight is that is one plus p by eight it is one point five. So sigma b it is two point five mp mp mega bar. Okay. So now second question it is find the stresses at support. Support we are completed now mid span. Okay. Stresses at mid span. Second question. Stresses at mid span. Mid span. Okay. At the mid span there will be bending moment. So first sigma top is equal to sigma t is equal to sigma t is equal to p by a p by a p by a then minus p by z p by z p by z p by z then plus m by z plus m by z moment due to total load okay so at the top due to pre spacing force it is hogging type of bend should be occur so that's why at the top it is tension and due to self weight and external load so sagging type of bend occurs so at the middle due to external loading sagging type bend occurs so at the top it is compression that's why we are taken here plus okay put all this value here sigma top is sigma t is equal to sigma t is equal to this facing force it is 240 into 10 to the power power c divided by the by cross sectional area of beam cross section area of beam it is 24 into 10 to the power c and plus sorry minus c by z okay c it is 240 into 10 to the power c into eccentricity it is 200 mm divided by Density thirty-two into thirty-two into ten to the power six and plus plus m it is moment due to total loading. We need calculate this. Okay, so m is equal to first of all we calculate m is equal to. And beam it is simply supported. M is equal to W L square by eight. W into L square by eight. W L square by eight. So W it is ten. Total load on the span it is ten. Ten into eight L it is eight square. Eight square. Divided by eight. Divided by eight. It will be eighty kilo newton per meter. Eighty kilo newton meter. Okay. We'll put here value at here. The eighty kilo newton meter that is converted is in mm. Ten to the power six newton mm. And that's the power six newton mm divided by divided by z it is thirty two into ten to six thirty two into ten to the power six so sigma top is equal to so this one it is one and minus one point five then plus And plus eighteen to ten to the power six divided by 
32 into 10 to the power 6. This will be 2.5. 2.5. The sigma top is equal to sigma t is equal to sigma t is equal to 1 minus 1.5 plus 2.5. It will be 2 mp. 2 mp. Okay. Now, second question. Second, sigma b is equal to sigma b is equal to sigma b is equal to at mid span. Okay. Sigma b is equal to at mid span. t by a. t by a. T by A, T by A, T by A, plus T by Z, plus T by Z, T by Z, T by Z, minus M by Z. 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 Put all this value. So sigma b is equal to t by it is 1.1, but it will be 1, then plus 1.5. And minus 2.5, minus 2.5. This will be get sigma bottom 1 plus 1.5 minus 2.5. So it will be sigma b is equal to 0. zero. The final stress diagram it will be at the top it is 2, at the top it is 2. At the bottom, it will be zero. At the bottom, it is zero. At the top, it is two mp. Two mp. At the bottom, it is zero. At the bottom, it is zero. Okay. The bottom, it is zero. So this is final strain diagram at mid span. Okay. So this one, it is analysis of three stress concrete. At support and mid span. Okay. So actually, why we taken this one minus? Why one this one plus? Okay. So due to pre-stressing force, the sagging type of sorry, hugging type of bend should be occur in the deep. It's just like bend. Okay. Due to pre-stressing force, this one it is neutral axis of this beam. At the top it is tension, and at the bottom it is compression. This one it is bend occur due to pre-stressing force. And due to self fit, it is sagging type of bed should be up. Sagging type of bed should be up. Due to sagging, this one is a neutral axis of the beam. At the top, it is compression. At the bottom, it is tension. So at the top, sigma t is equal to sigma t is equal to t by a, then it will be minus. So tension should be developed due to pre and at, due to self weight, it will be compression should be developed. That's why it is minus and this one it is plus. Okay, so same at the bottom, sigma b is equal to, due to pre-stressing force at the bottom, it is compression. That's why it is plus. And due to self weight, it will be tension at the bottom. So that's why it will be minus. Okay, so this one it is analysis of pre-stressing force at support at mid-section.